feel much better now, thanks to you. I don't think I thank you properly down there. I was pretty shaken. I found a few Jedi artifacts down in the sublevels. I was planning on selling them to Darala, but I'll sell them to you if you want them instead. I found three things down there. One's some sort of crystal, and the others look like lightsaber parts. If you give me a thousand credits, you can have it all. That'll be enough for me to get off this rock. No returns on this. You're stuck with what you buy. <laughs> a pleasure doing business with you. Now I can finally get passage back home. I hope that junk is worth it to you. I really do. Come back anytime. It'll take me a while to get everything set straight. Yes, General? Let me see what you have. That's everything. Now all you need is a little quiet time with the workbench. lurking around here. Just go back to Kunda. You're not gonna find any Jedi artifacts here. Except the ones I'm selling. It's a shame about them. Have any luck getting to their bodies? I figure there's about no chance you'll succeed, but the reward is still open. You have? You managed to find them down there? You're tougher than you look. I have 1,000 credits for their bodies and their personal effects. No reward, too. <laughs> You've proven very helpful. I have to uh, go take care of something. I'll talk with you later. Halt, settler. This is a restricted area. How the hell did you get through the Kinrath? You should leave. He's a Jedi Master? Well, the bounty's gonna be that much sweeter then. Nar Shaddai is paying extremely well for Jedi, especially if they're alive. I'm gonna say this nice and simple for your little calf hurting head. Unless you wanna wind up dead, leave now. What? That's a Jedi trick! We trained against that during the war! It's a Jedi, man! Kill her before she tries something else! You have left me an opening! You have left me an opening! This one is mine! Always rushing into action without thinking of the consequences. What? 
You're expecting thanks? Kunda's in danger, and you've ruined the best chance of averting a full-scale conflict. Right now, Dantooine is at a critical moment. If Kunda falls, then the Republic may lose control of this system. Still, I'm surprised you were able to get this far. Although you do have your Jedi training to fall back on, every action has consequences, no matter how small or insignificant they seem. And even the smallest choice has the potential for harm. The Mandalorian Wars was proof of this. Intentions mean nothing of a greater tragedy is caused. I need to get to Kunda and warn them. They could be attacked at any moment. If you wish to prove yourself, then do so. Kunda's in danger and they need our help. The mercenaries have allied themselves with the exchange and are planning to attack Kunda. They've been holding off for the right moment. And now, since they lost their captive Jedi, they'll attack immediately. I'm going to try to reach Administrator Adari. Time is of the essence. Leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. That is correct, and I want you to help me. According to my reports, I have four times as many soldiers as the militia, and I am committed to taking Kunda. It is inevitable that I will succeed. If you wish to avoid my men eradicating the people of Dantooine, you will make it easier for me to take Kunda. Of course, I will pay well for your services. You'd better reconsider. I can't have a Jedi interfering with my plans. There is a considerable bounty on your kind that I will collect on unless you're working for me. You could have guided the situation to a better outcome. Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi.
see you have found the elusive Master Rook. He's told me that his rescue complicated our situation to some degree. I can't say that I anticipated that. I thank you for finding him, though. Vrook has informed me that the mercenaries devised a plan of attack to annihilate Kunda itself. I must ask for your aid again, Jedi. Zaron says that even with a plan, the mercenaries have to gather their forces, then coordinate their assault. So we still have time. I'm afraid the militia has not been adequately trained for the task that befalls them. Right now, just us and the militia. I don't want to create a needless panic. But be assured I will make sure that all civilians are warned in time, so they can get to safety. Though if we lose this battle, nowhere on Dantooine will be safe for settlers for long. Our militia is effective at peacekeeping, but isn't prepared for a full-scale battle. If you can do anything to ready them for the reality of it, that would be helpful. Besides that, look around Kunda and see what you can do to strengthen our defenses. I know that we don't have the perimeter turrets online, and that alone could make a significant difference. Zeron says there is a considerable chance they will breach Kunda itself. Anything you can do to slow them down could turn the tide of battle. I have instructed the militia and other Kunda personnel that you are to be provided with anything that can be spared. Unfortunately, that isn't much. Here is a MasterCard key that will open all of the security doors inside Kunda. Anything that might aid you in your task, please use. Soon, all the civilians will be evacuated. So if you have any business with them, I suggest you take care of it. Whenever you are ready to finalize the defenses, talk with Sarah. I was right about you. You are trouble, but you might just be the right sort of trouble we need. The mercenaries aren't quick to mobilize, so you have time to do what you need. Or are you ready to finalize the defense plans? We could use people handy with a blaster. Getting people to join the militia for a short stint would be good. We also got a lot of things that could use fixing. It isn't glamorous, but that type of work sometimes makes a load of difference. Just look around. Plenty to be done. Off the top of my head, the three turrets outside Kunda are on the blink. They went haywire the other day and wounded some of my men, so we took them offline. The men who were wounded by the turrets are holed up in the med lab. But our medic droid is busted, so they're healing slowly. We've had some men lay traps around Kunda, but nobody here really specializes in demolitions. I'm sure there's some gaps that could be filled. The side security door to Kunda has been malfunctioning as long as I've been here. It may be best to just seal it off lockdown so nobody gets through. We got some broken assault droids that have been collecting dust for the last five years. If they were working, it would help a lot with interior defense. If I had it my way, I'd recruit any citizen of Kunda that can hold a blaster. It's hard to convince peaceful farmers to fight, maybe die for a cause. When you're ready, come back and we can talk about the final plans to defend Kunda. Any luck on getting my modulator back from Joran? I don't think anyone here will be able to help me. Excellent. How did you deal with Joran? It has to be someone near their camp, and no one else lives around them. You might be right, but I doubt it. Are they turning on their own? Typical. That's about all I know. I've never seen the thief clearly. Do you have any idea who it is? Well, Jedi never stop meddling with our world. Even now they're causing problems for us. She's part of the reason why our world was invaded. Why many families were wiped out by the Sith. Endless interrogations. You don't think I know that. I fought in the war. And it was fallen Jedi that were responsible for the greatest atrocities. They're dangerous and too prone to fall into unspeakable evil. We'd be better off if they were extinct. And if they stayed good and pure, I'd agree. There were more Sith than Jedi in the war. You do the math. Here's your reward. Finally, I can get back to work. You'll find little welcome here, Jedi. For your own good, I recommend you speak to Administrator Adari, quickly finish your business in Kunda, and go. 
I will answer your questions. Yeah, I guess so. I'm not too fond of my job, but it's better than the job I'd have if the Mercs took over. I'll report to Zeron for militia duty.